Hey, it's John at Tinderbox Arts, and this is a review of the Viking Smart Charger or Maintainer. And it's sold at Harbor Freight. Their model number is 63350. Now, if you're outside the United States, you probably can't buy this exact one. However, I'm going to try to bring you along in this video to describe some more generic features that you should be looking for uh, in a charger sold today. Now, I did a previous video about smart chargers in general. Uh, the difference between a trickle charger and a smart charger, uh, the difference between a maintainer and a charger is something we might talk about as well. Now I'm going to show you something here, a different Viking product that I had purchased, uh, I don't know, a couple years ago. This is what I would consider a real charger. In other words, it has more amperage available. It has a trickle charge that they call it. It has an 8 amp and even a 15 amp boost charge for a short period if you're trying to do a jump start. And this has many of the same features of this smart charger that we're talking about here. But when I say smart charger, what I'm really talking about is something you're gonna leave on the bike or the car, whatever it is, and it's gonna uh, look at the battery voltage and maintain that voltage over time. You don't have to take it off, you don't have to touch it. It has automatic processing in there, which is gonna keep an eye on the battery and make sure it's good for you. By contrast, the old school trickle chargers really just put out a steady charge and it was possible to overcharge a battery with those things. These are not like that at all. Now, why did I buy this thing? Well, <laughs> I have some other chargers here that have seen better days. This one still works, but it's been run over by a car. So uh, I'm not sure how much longer it's gonna work. This one is an older microprocessor controlled smart charger However, um, it started giving me some trouble last year, and you see that little question mark right there. I've seen some issues as far as the way it charges that concerns me, so I think it's just seen better days. And you'll notice that there aren't really many features to these older models here. There's no dials or anything to be selected on the front here. They are smart chargers. They do have a little computer inside with some firmware um, which controls the charge, but um, they really can't handle different types of batteries that are available today and there's not much in the way of a readout. Getting back to this new charger here, you'll notice there's much more in the way of features here. It mentions AGM, gel, deep cycle, and standard batteries. So there are uh, controls in here, firmware, to handle different styles of battery, which the old ones did not have. It also has a readout um, and you know some other features here as far as the firmware. Uh, by which I mean the logic inside uh, that will help us maintain our batteries to a greater degree than we could before. Other newer features of the logic or the firmware inside are a winter mode, which means that if it's cold out, you can select that and the logic will act differently uh, on the battery. And there also is a, an attempt anyway to rehabilitate a, a battery if this charger notices that you attach it and the voltage on the battery is below 10.5 volts, before it starts charging, it's actually gonna to try to rehabilitate the battery and then charge it back up. So there's more advanced logic, more advanced firmware in these newer models than you would get in the older models that I'm replacing. Okay, let's look what's in the box here. You get the charger itself. One thing I like right away is that the upright position of the charger has the face of it facing up, which is nice, because these are usually stored on the floor when you're uh, charging a motorcycle, so just having it facing up means you can read it more easily than the old style I'm replacing, which faced the wrong way, really. They also include here um, a number of accessories here. So you have an SAE pigtail, which would be attached to your battery directly, and it has this connector right here, which would connect with the charger. So you can attach this directly to your battery, and I prefer that method. There's also an inline fuse here, so you don't do something terrible. But if you have a, a different type of battery, perhaps on a car or a lawnmower or something like that, it also gives you the standard clamp. So you get both in the package. Now this unit was $39 uh, at Harbor Freight. So as far as cost, that's pretty low compared to what you can spend. Now for the first test, I'm gonna use this Triumph Tiger, which is my son's bike. Now he's been running this this winter and the battery is charged up. It's at 12.85 volts, so it doesn't need a charge, but we'll see how the battery uh, maintainer handles this when we plug it in. Now when I plug this into the, the uh, electrical outlet, all I get is this. Uh, nothing will happen until I'm connected. So it just shows zero volts and a little symbol here showing nothing's connected. Now as soon as I connect, it's done some 
calculations here. So this mode button here, I can cycle through. That's 12 volt AGM. That's 6 volt standard, 6 volt standard with winter mode, 12 volt standard, 12 volt AGM, 12 volt standard with winter mode, and 12 volt AGM with winter mode. So I'm going to leave it on that. So it's giving me a display of what it's doing here, which is somewhat helpful. How accurate it is, I don't know for sure yet, but it is at least attempting to show me what's going on. Now in the manual, they show all the possible uh, display items here, two of which we did not see yet, which are polarity reversal symbol, so it will do that for you, but it shows you, and bad battery symbol. That occurs when uh, it notices that the voltage was below 10.5 volts, it attempts to rehabilitate, uh, the battery and if it is unsuccessful it shows you that symbol and of course it has the battery level charge here and it says right in the manual if the charger cycles between a maximum charge level and a lower charge level when first connected it j may just mean that the battery is already charged now getting back to our test bike here already it's lit up as green now not red and it shows the full battery uh, symbol right here so it's fully charged and it's showing 13.8 volts now that's good because this thing has already recognized that the battery really didn't need a charge and it was in good shape already so the logic you know inside of this thing seems to be working correctly for the next test uh, you know the bikes are all charged up I have three bikes in the garage but they're all charged up so I found uh, a lawn tractor here a zero turn mower and that battery is slightly discharged it's a 12 volt battery and it's at 12.16 volts so it's slightly discharged so let's see how this thing handles that and it is charging it shows red um, so it's attempting to charge it so we'll see how long this one takes okay the elapsed time for charging this mower uh, was about 25 minutes which is impressive now this brings up one important point this is a 4 amp, or at least it claims to be a 4 amp charger. And that's a little bit more than what you would find on these older chargers, which I have. These are 1.5 amps, and you know it's going to take longer to charge a battery when you have less amperage. So this new unit is improved in the sense that it's giving us more readout, more options, but also because it's a little higher powered, and it's going to be able to charge a little more quickly and that may be a, a factor sometimes okay I've opened up the unit and I just want to see what it looks like inside what I'd be looking for would be uh, you know professional manufacturing standards I you know I don't want to see any hand soldering or anything like that and I don't it all looks like it's very well made I can't see anything on here that scares me uh, the circuit board looks clean it all looks pretty good so as far as quality you know, I think this will last just as well as any other uh, unit, that's for sure. And the case itself is lightweight. Um, you know, I really have no complaints about the quality of the unit as far as the construction or the manufacturing. All right, so let me bottom line this for you. Um, I'm impressed. You know, everything you need is in the box. You have the SAE pigtail, which you can leave connected to your bike. Uh, you have the clamp, so if you have a mower or a car, you can use that, uh, or a boat battery. Um, it's lightweight unit, it's well designed, um, simple to operate once I understood that you need to pick uh, the battery type yourself, it doesn't pick it for you, but everything else is automatic. Uh, the leads themselves are long enough so you can you know, get to where you're going, and um, it seems to work pretty well. Uh, I don't really have any complaints as far as that. Four amps of power, whether that's true or not, it's, it's more than my old one, that's for sure, and it was able to charge quickly. Uh, so really, I think this sets kind of a standard. Now, even if you're not able to buy this particular one, you know, you live out of the United States or whatever, you know, something like this is something you should be looking for. And clearly, you don't need to spend a whole lot of money to get a decent smart charger. And just to reiterate, the way these things work is you'll connect it to your bike or whatever you're connecting it to, leave it connected, it will continue to monitor that battery, and charge it when it's needed and it'll shut off automatically when it's not so you just leave it connected so look I th I'm impressed with this thing again the model number is 63350 and um, Harbor Freight I think hit it out of the park with this thing